Hi, kindergarten friends. It's Mrs. Wallstrand here. Uh, today we're going to do a quick lesson on ordering numbers. I'm sure we've had a lot of practice with this throughout the year, but I just wanted to re-touch um, base with you guys about it. Um, I'm going to do a, just a simple lesson first, and then we'll talk about how we can do it with bigger numbers. So on my board, you can see I wrote a number line to help me. I wrote the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, all in order. And then below, I have the numbers 1 through 10 that I just made on note cards. I think that's a bingo board activity that you might be asked to try. Um, and then I'm going to use these numbers out of order that I mixed up and try and order them. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my first number, or you could just count in your head. We know numbers start at 1. So I'm going to find my 1, and I'm just going to put it all the way to the left in order. Then I'm going to look for the next number, which is, that's right, you said it, number 2. Here's my number 2. I'm going to put that next. Then I'll look for number 3. Oh, here it is. I move that one up. Now I'm looking for four. Okay, here's my four. So I'll put that one right next to the three. I'm going to go back and actually double check my work before I keep going. One, two, three, four. Sounds right to me. I'm going to keep going. Next, I'll be looking for five. Okay, here's five. I'll put that one next. And then six. Here's my six. Then I'll look for seven. And then it gets a little bit easier. Uh, once you get towards the end, then it should be eight. And then next, of course, is nine. And then last, we have 10. Okay, now that's one way you can do it. If you don't have a number line, you could just count the numbers in your head and go back and check like I did before. Um, sometimes our numbers are gonna be really big. So if I were to have a bigger number, see if I can grab my marker. Okay, if I were to have the number 17, and then another number, let's say 6, and then another number 11. I could put these numbers in order by counting. I might not have a number line that I could use, or you might have one at home, or you could make one at home. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my counting strategy. So I want to put these numbers in the correct order that we count. We call that numerical order. So when I'm counting, I will start at one. And I'm going to look and see which number I come across first when I count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, here's my six. That's the first number I came across. So I'm going to write in my six first, just like we do on that daily math page. And then I'm going to cross it out so I know that I used it. I'm going to keep counting from six now and see what the next number I come across will be. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, here's our eleven. So that's going to be next in numerical order. So I'm going to write that one in and then I'm going to cross it off. Now we only have one number left, but I'm going to keep counting to make sure I have it right in case I missed one. Starting at 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and here's my 17. So I have my three numbers in numerical order. Okay, thanks for ordering numbers with me. Bye kindergartners.